Hi there everyone, welcome to Dreyf's Family Day. I'm Genevieve and I'm here to share a few creative ideas on how to make an animation set that you might like to try out with someone else at home because it is family day after all. Today we're going to imagine our dream day. Here's a small scene I made after dreaming about a sunny day on a secret island beach. Here's the clip. It's easy to make a set like this. In this scene, I used a painting for the background and for the base, I used a cardboard box, an old plastic bag and some paper. And then for the pieces in the foreground, I used an old twig and you can see a small cutout photograph to make a mini me. Let's brainstorm some ideas together. How about we start with a hot air balloon ride across some beautiful hills. So maybe that could look like, here's our painting shape. Here's your hot air balloon. And here's your hills. We could make that into a good set. Nah, let's try something else. How about we're on a hammock or at a beach? So let's give ourselves the painting shape. And let's give ourselves some palm trees. And let's have a bendy palm tree. Is it sunrise? I think it's sunrise. And let's give us another palm tree over here. See, the sketches don't have to be perfect. They're just lines. And they're just giving ourselves some ideas. No, today I'm gonna make a mini me set. I fancy being smaller than a ladybird surrounded by giant flowers. How about something like this? So we've got some giant flowers. We've got a big ladybird. And we've got some grass. And I think I fancy standing on it for a little balance on his back. Here's what you will need to make the animation set. Here's how you make a cardboard base like this one. You take a piece of cardboard and this is where your adult helper comes in handy. You mark a slice down the side and take some scissors a small strip that's going to help the back stand up. Then you're going to use a ruler to mark the height of the back strip. You're going to leave a little space in the middle to keep it attached to the board. Then you're going to use your scissors to cut this shape in. Give that a nice, just mark it along the back so it bends and folds easily. Your backing should be able to curve round to make the back of the set. Take your strip, cut it into two pieces, fold. the ground and the grass. I'm taking a selection of lots of different greens and some used print on top of some cardboard. We're going to work on the painting for the background. You're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil and some ideas. We're going to draw some large flowers on this to begin with. finish the drawing we can put it in place to see what it's looking like 
and now we can move on to the painting. the painting let's work on some of the set. I've made a large giant flower out of a dead flower I found and some leaves made out of paper and oil pastel. That could go in the front. I've also made a giant ladybird out of plasticine. And he could go here, put a little picture of me on the top of him and I'm going to show you how to make a ladybird now. Let's have a look and see how he fits into his new world. Here are some other kids' dream places. I hope you have as much fun as I've had making your new worlds. See you next time.